breaking news. The Super Show has a link in the top of their description where you can go to donate to St. Jude. A wonderful cause. Here's all of the things that you could get. Wow, look at all those things. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. Hi. And, uh, welcome to the Super High School of a Super Show. Um, what, what's this? I've never done this before. I've never done you before, and here we are. Uh, what? <laughs> so this is a game called Return of the Oberdin. It is amazing. It's simply amazing. And I've played this game before. I've played through the whole game, uh, and I loved it. Uh, this is you a, know, I get to suffer. Yeah, this is a couple years ago, and I'm currently playing the game because I'm the only one that owns it. But I'm streaming it to uh, Riley. Uh, oh God! <laughs> it's already started. <laughs> that does uh, come through, OBS. So I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, but so now it's time for me to play the game and for Riley to um, figure Suffer. out the mystery. Uh, so this game is a it's a mystery it's like it's like a mystery horror i don't want to say it's a horror game per se but it's like a really creepy game and there are some things later on that are just not youtube safe that i will have to blur later welcome um, to the spooky show so welcome 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 to return of the Oberdin. welcome to the spooky show this is a halloween episode it's going out on halloween <laughs> episode with zumbinis <laughs> Yeah, the Zumbinis is the day before and after. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can delete this one. No, right. you can't. You ha we have to play on that file. <laughs> so, um, the two files that have 100% of the game are five hours and four hours. So it's really not that long of a game. Um, okay, yeah, it's not that long of a game if we're not recording. <laughs> That's fair. Are you ready? This is gonna be like a. I thought this was gonna be a one-off. <laughs> oh, not at all. Fuck, man. <laughs> Oberdin. Oh. Lost at sea, 1803. Oberdin. Build 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 foot. Draw Captain R. Ritterell, crew, six, 51 men. Feet. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous on Uninet. Contact East India CUI London office for inquiries for testimony. Right, this game, uh, is it's like to be Attention. honest. One of my Inspector Insurance he claims London office Oberdeen has returned. Dispatch Falmouth immediately. Prepare full assessment. Oh, and by the way, so for those who do not know, the Return of the Oberdeen. This game is made by the pe same people who made Papers Please and uh, Don't Press the Button, whatever it's called. Don't Don't suck the dick. Don't suck the cock. Uh. <laughs> yeah, which are also great games and I, everything else that I made. fail don't suck the cock all the time <laughs> <laughs> fall, fall mouth oh by the way this is all based off of oh, the true story not all of it's true but it's like based off of a folk tale also it's voice acted that's true I didn't even bury the Oberdin please help me can you hear the voice acting alright it's kind of quiet yeah I didn't I didn't. I believe that's the only line that the protagonist gets to say. I don't know. Fucking liar. <laughs> okay, jeez. <laughs> Rude. I believe that's the only one the protagonist says another thing immediately. Like in this, like in the game, like he only gets lines in like the first cutscene and like the ending sequence. God, I hate this. Oh, cool. Is a camera? Yeah. This is the Oberdin. We found it. Oh, you're fucking me. Um. This is a. This is a what? How did they do this? I don't know. It's so fucking good. I mean, I'd imagine this is what all games look like if you take off the colors. <laughs> and just do, like, the line art for the objects. This is what all games look like, right? Yeah, I'm sure. It's like, it's pixel art. It's all of its pixels. Everything's pixels. No, bro. like it's. <laughs> like, how did they? How? How did they do it? I don't know, man. Climb up the ladder. No, I I need to grab something from the box. I just don't remember what button I need to press. F. Not. E. 
E is like you look at them something. Can I look at you? I. I get on the ship. Oh. Oh god, I don't like that hands. Hello, boat. Welcome to boat. This is boat. <laughs> so you'll get to know this boat very well. Or, you know, I'll get to... I'll get to know... Five frames a second of this boat. Oh, is it really... Is the stream not good right now? It is, um... Yeah, you you just like that one walking movement that you just did. I got three frames. Okay, I'm gonna start sharing one more time. All right, technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, welcome yeah. back, everybody. The frame rate's the same. It really, is it the same? It's not horrible. If you're okay. not moving, it's fine. All right. There's no like quick action moments, are there? Ah, uh, not yet. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, that's a dead bot. Hello. Hello, senor. Dude. You look dead. <laughs> yeah, dead, dead as hell. Which is to he have on Kyoko? Uh, those. They're over there. Look at, look at them. It's kind of cool. They, they like shaded this where it's like a spiral from like that one point there. That's weird. Oh. All right. I can't. Oh, what the fuck? Oi! <laughs> Alright, he wants me to bra grab the thing. I need to go back down. You know, Maybe he just jumped. Hands. I despise these hands. Well, they're like gloves. It's too heavy. I know. Take it yourself and open it here. Oh, there's two. The, the box moved. Why did the box move? Because the because he he was trying to carry it up to us, but it was oh, too heavy. Like, no, fuck off. Book. That book looks like Minesweeper. Yeah, I see your point. Return of the Oberdin. Oh god, it's a book. You're I joking, trust that right? you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale <laughs> within the pages of this book. Regrettably, I came. Failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outlines that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket time. watch to What's determine that? the identity and fate of everyone on board. Complete every chapter accurately and return the book to the guaranteed post to the French office in affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within. You have elected to keep them private for now. Henry but have a, Evans. It says, but have elected. How dare you? How fucking dare you? You're right. The journey. Atlantic leg for the Far East route. Dude, that's... All All right. Right, let's see. So, there's like... So, we can see like a map of like... We don't... This is like its route. Oh yeah, just saying. This is before the canal was built. Yeah, so it's just going around. Uh, did you see that the canal got blocked again? Did it really? Again? It was blocked. It was blocked for like three hours. What the fuck? It but it was in a part of the canal where there were two lanes. Okay, and then so, this shows us what the what the ship looks like on a more in depth level. But honestly, it's kind of hilarious that it got it is blocked kind of again. Uh, these are like all the different floors. That moment when a boat does more to end capitalism than leftists have. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is the list of all the crewmates. God, that's so many. Topman, seamen. It was <laughs> seamen. <laughs> and we have to find the faiths for all Buzzin. of them. Oh, so good God. This is the list of all the people. So we have Who to, is Robert Witterell? We have to see them, and based off of their face, we have to find them, and Dude. then determine, uh, like, how they died. Dude, who is Robert Witterell? Stop trying anyway. No, it stop should, trying should, anyway, it dude. It should let me did. All right, whatever. Stop um, trying. That's the sketches of everyone, and then this is all the stuff we're gonna figure out. Oh. This is all the empty pages. That's oh my god. Oh, that's so much. Does it, it, we don't have to like type it in, right? It fills that out. No, it fills right? it in once we figure out the mystery. Cool. Uh, and this is the amount that we figured out so far. <laughs> so like fucking nothing. Basically. All right, and now. That's a compass. This ass. is 
the most important part of the game. The compass? Memento Mortem. Do Memento Mori! Yeah, yeah. Unus and us. Unus, Unus and us. Unus and us. Alright, well, I just have the compass now. That's like if the, um... If the Wiggles did a, a, a collaboration <laughs> episode with Unus on us. <laughs> hey, it's Unus and us! <laughs> God. And then, like, you, you know how Jeff is, like, always fucking tired? Uh-huh. It's like, the, the, the joke is instead of him being tired, it's that, like, he's on the verge of death. <laughs> Remember, you will die. So all the doors that have a little line at the bottom that you can open, uh, and all the doors that have, like, an X on them means they're locked, but they open up eventually. So you want to see this man die? Yeah, sure. Oh, hi. Knock, knock. Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Let's we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards made face. Exactly what I give you! We need to turn the audio up. My cock! <laughs> no! Not, not, not that. Okay, so is this the dead guy? The, di the guy just got fucking yeah, shot this blast. This is the dead the guy. Ass. So, He's we're trying to figure out how he died and who killed him. So, based well, on the context that we just got, what do you think? Um, well, I think he was shot in the head. Here, let me... Or possibly let me... the neck. Let me turn the audio from barely audible to quite quiet. I... Loud. You can't go back behind his girth? How rude. Okay, so I'm gonna... My guess is he was shot in the neck, or the chest the high chest area so this shows who he is oh he's that guy he's that he's guy. guy with the hat this guy is this that guy. guy he's the guy with the hat <laughs> and this guy ah no this guy is we don't know yet oh uh, i didn't see any of that <laughs> i was locked on one frame so So this is one of the things that happens right at the end. So that's the X is like where the boat was when they died. Okay. Um, then it gives us a more detailed location of the corpse. It tells us who was there. Captain! Now we have to figure out who this is. And we also get a replay of all the audio. Captain, and, and the X the symbolifies that's the person who died. So... The person who died yelled, Captain, open the door, kick it in is probably this guy. And then Unless you break it down and take more than those shells. And then this is probably the captain. Hot. Based off of context clues. That's so sexy. So it gives you a lot than what you see. I so would fuck. This is the guy. Uh, this is the guy. And this is um, the man. And we can assume that this... Ah, this person is giving us instructions. No longer blurry, which means that they can now be identified. Um, As the captain? Use, yeah, use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to do their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book's map, hey. crew, and a fist, and the artist's sketch pages, pages two through four, along with individual conversational logs to find clues about unknown. Wait, there are 60 people it. on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will make it you have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may not be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. I found it's the captain. So it's not the captain. It's the captain? Yeah. Why was there a line through it? Honestly don't know. Oh now there's not. Well, it's the captain. And we can, you, you, if you write down someone's name and it's wrong, it doesn't correct you. Uh, if you write down someone's fate and it's wrong, it doesn't correct you. How this game works is once you get three fates, which is someone's name and how they died, once you get three of them correctly, then it tells you 
uh, that you're right and it updates the book. But only after you get three. Well, we can do the other guy. So, this unknown soul met an unknown fate. We know so, the unknown fate. We know. Dotted. So, all of these things happen. Cool. Um, he was shot. Right there. So, he was shot. With a gun. With a gun. By, by the, captain. the captain. We still don't know who they are. Because this person appears to be blurred, which means that there's no way we can know them unless we've already played the game. Or we just guess correctly. Uh, their fate may be known and can be entered now. But trying to name them when their face is blurred would be unproductive unless you've already played the game, which I have. But I'm not going to do that because this is for you. Carry on and pay Still attention. Faces will become unblurred when information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Which sometimes is very much not obvious. Um, but so yeah. you just check the book a lot. <laughs> a lot. Oh, so much. We know nothing about this person. Uh, just that cool. they were there. And they said, kick it in. They said, kick it in. They said, kick his dick. Uh, and Captain. that's what we learned from the first memory. And then it like gives so us much. back here to get a few more looks at the crime scene if we want. And then that oh. ominous looking door is how we leave the memory. Cool. He's got a pickaxe. Why does he have a pickaxe? And this is just shows us he's the captain. Why does he have a pick? Uh, it's an axe to bust on the door. Oh my god, it is a pickaxe. <laughs> It's like a hatchet. Oh my god, it's actually a pickaxe. But there's all oh, there's also this guy. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Hello. Just some dude. Uh, we will get to know this man very well in the next two minutes. Why I did do you not have a knife know that. In your mouth? I did not even know that you could see him in this scene. That's good to know. Why do you have a knife in your mouth, sir? You'll see. Okay, bye. And off we go. Why does he have a knife in his mouth? <laughs> That's the mystery. Tell me. <laughs> All right. And now that we've uh, investigated that open? thing, now the door is open. And there's another dead body. dead body. The captain? Hello? There's a two more dead bodies. All right, let's look at the one that was right by the door. Um, And I believe... Uh, no, not yet. All right, we're gonna do this one first. Thank God, it's so hard with getting like one frame every like three seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you if you if you stop moving, I'll it works. Re something. If you work great. <laughs> but when when you're like moving around, I'm just getting like. But, uh, <laughs> Can you hear the audio? Yeah, it's fine. Sounds like stabbing or slashing. Yep. Oh, it's a knife guy. So it's this guy. It's the one who's dying. Uh, no, not that guy. This is the captain. Oh, it's also a knife guy. So the captain is here. Wait, that's the cap. I thought that was a knife guy. This is the guy that's already dead. And if we go up here, the captain got schmoted. Let's see. Where'd knife guy go? He's oh. right here. Knife guy. All right, and that's all we get to see. You can't. There's nothing else to look at. Not really. We don't learn anything. We can't like put in the book. Captain was slashed in the throat. <laughs> so. Wait, but there was another guy present, too. The two others that were present, so it was this guy, the captain, and then the knife guy. Oh, knife guy. Hi, knife guy. All right, so now this is the guy that died. We know that he was... He was slashed in the throat by the captain. Knifed by the captain. And that's all we know. God damn it. I want to know about Knife Guy. We'll, 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 we'll know about Knife Guy. No, right now. Oh. What's the other body? Tell me the... <gasps> the other... What? Is the other body the captain? He gets knifed? That's, 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 that's the mystery. All right, now we've got to go back out the door. Like, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out, all right? Jeez. 
But look at the other body. Tell me now. Maybe I will. I'm maybe big. Now, the other body. Third body. And all that the bodies stay. Like so there will be sixty bodies here eventually. That looks like that's where the no. Go to the other body, you bitch. And the reason why the bodies stay is so you can like investigate them. That's some hot strangulation right there. <laughs> that's a sexy. Oh, that's not. It's knife guy. No, knife guy, no. So if we look, God, move out of the way. Too big. Oh, he did knife the captain. So he he came down from a top, swung he did, through, he did, does it, does and he got yeah, he hit him right in the captain. side. Oh, that's hot. But then the captain fucking thwapped him. Thwapped. He got thwapped in the skull. So is the dead guy the thwapped guy? So this the is the guy that just got dead. cut. This is the guy that just got shot. So it's the knife guy that just died. <gasps> There's someone right here. Hello. You're hot. <laughs> wow, damn. Wait, am I wrong? <laughs> the correct answer is yes, I am wrong. Oh, you're outside. I want to see if there's anyone else. It's not so, that yeah. outside. Okay. Why is it going away? What the hell? That's all we had to Why see. Did... Well, I wanted to see more. Well, that's all we had to see. But I wanted to see, but more. There's a timer on them, if you didn't know. Yeah, but I wanted more. <laughs> so, not including... Does it not show the fact that the wife... That this person was here? Where's the sleeping bitch? Why is she not? Oh, I know why. Well, stop saying things. Well, I don't, I, I don't know why. Alright, they were clubbed. By, the, by captain. the captain. Damn, this captain is now a serial killer. <laughs> Literally. Uh, but we don't know this man's name. If it wasn't clubbed, because he was clubbed. hit, he was like, it was like a blunt. It was like yeah. he, he was hit by the end of a spear. Oh God, eaten. Uh, yeah, and there is, uh, struck by hooves, tail, wing. Um, Wh wing. Uh, and there are like if they're alive, there's places that they go. There's only a few of them that are alive though. Wait, I don't think wait, all of those are used. Wait, wing crushed beast cannon cargo. What in the Griffin is this? <laughs> oh, it gets crazy. All right, they're clubbed, sure, but we don't know their names, so nothing. We we you can't confirm anything yet. So, at the, at the beginning of the end, this man dies. This man dies. This man dies. All by the captain. All by the captain. Damn, this captain, captain is I Okay, so the captain doesn't die in the captain's quarters, though. All right, can I leave the book? All right, how do I, how do no. I exit the book? I did it. You hit escape. I, I did, and it kept flipping the pages. Is there you anything else harder. you want to look at? Yeah, I want to look outside and see if there's any more stuff. Reasonably, there's like no one up here. There's no like knife guy's twin brother coming to yeah. <laughs> the knife guy just clones himself mid jump. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd assume that the that the little like strangulation thing that we heard that was the guy being knifed like dying and drowning in their own blood. <coughs> oh. So fun time all around. <laughs> I'm all sorry, right. I'm choking on my own cum. So. Oh, is that the wife? Oh, that's more, the wife. There's two more bodies. Uh-oh. That's a lot of bodies in this room. So this is the captain, probably. Who's to say? Me. I'm the one. Abigail. Your brother. My Fuck. dear friend. I shot him. Oh. Dead. Soon, my love. We have two more identities. Please forgive me for everything. Yep. Um, 
And that's Abigail. That's the captain. And then, so we have Abigail, insert last name here, and then brother, who we could get his identity from. Which is this guy. guy. We can get his identity from the same last name, probably. Yes. So the captain and Abigail weren't married? Or they were and she didn't take his last name? I don't know if it's specified. Dude, go look for Knife Guy's twin brother. I think the idea is that, like, they fell in love on the ship but didn't get married. Go, yeah. go look for Knife Guy's brother. Or something else like that? I don't know. No, go look for Knife Guy's brother. He doesn't. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> All right. No one else is present. Captain Robert Witterell met an unknown fate. The unknown fate being Spoopicide. All right. Suicide by a gun. All right. It's hot. This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people in their fates to have information type, type set into the book. But was it right? Well, we don't know. But something we can do. Oh, here we go. Let's look at look at this one. Um, oh, God damn it. Let me just look at the beginning of the book. Look at the beginning of the cock. No. Beginning of the cock. <laughs> there's so many fucking pages. I know. Because there's 60 does... people. It's a page for each person. Jesus Christ. All right. So. Uh, Let's look at the crew manifest. This guy. Here, let's look at Abigail first. This bitch. Bitch. You're Abigail. Literal. They did share a name. They did. Wait. So we can't get the other guy. Are you sure? Because he wouldn't have the name Witterall. Unless the captain took her name? Well, there's a, so there's a lot of context clues that you get from this image. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, yeah, the people shooting at the dude who's hung. No. I gathered that. That's not what I mean. What else could you possibly mean? You learn some of these characters' identities from looking at what they're doing in this image. Looks like the bitch's brother is like his left-hand man. Yes, exactly. For example, it gives you a position for all the characters. First mate, second mate, third mate, fourth mate. Bosun. Bosun's mate. And if there's anything that you don't know, just look it up. Um, passenger... Uh, ship steward, captain steward, and then just a lot of topmen, seamen. And you have to it know a sense. lot. You do have to know a bit about nautical positioning to understand this stuff. How many to have? Come on, man. I don't know, but what we do know is that Tommy all the people in this ring that are standing near the captain, captain are important people in the ship. They're all the captain. So, from this person, since we don't know a third person yet, there's no point in guessing, but if we do know a third person's fate then there's no reason to not. So once we re figure out how she died, then we could figure out this who this guy is, check. just by yeah. guessing. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why can't it be, like, um, all the things? Like, like, like all the... Can, it's not can letting you get me all leave. the information without guessing? What? Can you get all the all the information without guessing? No. That's stupid. God, it's oh, that's not the right button. Honestly, this game. Why were you even playing this game? It, it requires guessing. <laughs> How do I leave the book? You press tab. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> it's right. Yeah, I, it did actually tell us at the beginning of the game that if you press tab, you can leave the book. Wait, wait no, you gotta look for the brother. Look for the brother. 
Not that brother, the twin. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> is he in here? No. Where is Knife Guy Twin? No. Uh, I just want to pull up the book. The tab. Does Knife Guy have a twin? Uh, so this is Knife Guy. Uh, he kind of looks like him, I guess. A little bit. All right, look for Knife Guy Twin. No, not the no. door. That's not where the Knife Guy Twin is. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to look for Knife Guy Twin on the next episode of the Super High School the Super Show. What? It's already been half an hour, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's 30 minutes, 40 some seconds. Alright, now we know how many people died in this section of the book. That's, that's kind of all. Alright, goodbye everybody. Bye.